But I always learn, like, to make new ones. Uh, anyway, it, it, seriously, I'm, again, channel like Tats, if we file an IP complaint, like IP ban, um, and, you know, they see your videos, your ability to comment or make videos off of YouTube from your current IP address will be taken away. Um, okay. And we don't want to do that, you know. We're, we're not dicks. We're not just say, not overlording powers of the Internet. But you're again, not like, uh, you're not like where Ray William Johnson or uh, Ray or William Johnson is a fucking jackass. All right, you know you know this. We all know this. Or Ray or William Nate Johnson Johnson's. attacks fans. You know, you know. Or for, Nate for, Johnson no or uh, or PM Rants. Uh, PM Rants. Uh, he just attacks YouTubers, um, bigger YouTubers, by saying he doesn't like them. He's but jealous. I, He's jealous of PewDiePie and all those YouTubers. I don't really think he's jealous as much as he just doesn't agree with the... He doesn't feel like the content that they create um, is honestly worth that kind of viewage. Which, honestly, he's in jealous. my, opi in my opinion, jealous. I can't say I certainly agree that they deserve those amount of views for the kind of content that they create. But then again, you know, who am I to say? Uh, like, uh, I hate the ranter community, uh, like, Nate talks to you, I uh, he's jealous of these, uh, YouTubers because, uh, they're earning more money than him, so he's like, oh, man, look at these YouTubers earning more money, I'm so jealous of that. So, yeah, he's really jealous. I don't, again, um, you can rant about someone without it being about money or being jealous about them. Like, I can sit here and, you know, I mean, like, if I were to go on my channel and say, Fuck Ray William Johnson, because he sucks, he stepped to an equals three, and he fucking causes fans fat and retarded, you know. Um, if I were to go on that, I would get probably like 90 people saying that I'm just jealous of him and shit like that, you know. So, yeah. Um, the, the ranter community, yes, there's probably some people who legitimately are jealous. Trust me, I know people who do that. But the majority of people usually aren't jealous. They just like posting their opinions. Like, again, I can say, I don't like PewDiePie because he makes nothing but rape and ass jokes. And then, you know, on face cam, you know, I can say that. And to be honest, that is true. I don't like that he does that. And does that mean I care that he makes more money than me? No, yeah. it means that I don't yeah. like that he does that. If, if someone brings in and says, this guy should not be making this much money, <laughs> and he's a uh. fucking faggot for doing so, you know, that uh. that that's being jealous of money. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, being that upset that some jealous. guy acts like a retard in a video, you know, like DSP or something like that, that is true. Yeah, uh, also, another person I hate is Girl Does Rants. I think she's like, um, a boob tuber, like using her tits just to get more views. Oh yeah, that, that, there's a lot of YouTubers like that on there. But again, um, Tats didn't really do anything wrong. And th what we do with the top list is that we do a lot of research. There, we do long videos. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a fucking fuck ton of channels who do top ten lists. Do you really want another stupid oh, yeah, ass like top Mark ten list? Yeah, watch Mojo. You know they do like and five top, top ten. Do you want us just to recap their top tens? Fuck no. Yeah. No one wants yeah. to see a top ten list. Well, you get you might, but you know, like if we say goriest games, you're gonna want to say like God of War, Mortal Kombat. No, no, no. We want to present to you games that you might not have heard about. And again, when you're doing a lots of lists, it's yeah. Oh, yeah, Jesus think... fucking Christ, doing that in a list format is really hard to get everyone to be happy about it, and things tend to blur together once you get to the, you know, when you're doing a 100 items and all that shit. Yeah, But, uh... you know, we just try to present our own opinion. We don't present other people's opinions. And the fact that if you don't like long videos, then just don't watch them. Oh, yeah, uh, I got this other argument from this, uh, some YouTube guy, I don't know his username. He said that you guys support pseudo science because you believe in the paranormal and stuff like that, and uh, and that um, you guys should watch James Randi and stuff like that. Um, Tats um believes in some paranormal things, like elves. But not like he doesn't believe in ghosts. I don't think, and I don't think he really believes in like demons and angels. In fact, he wouldn't and even consider himself Christian. Or Yahweh, 
or Allah. No, no, no. He's not. He's. I don't. Yeah. He said that he he would like to believe that, but there's no evidence to support that. However, Tats um Takes is that actually can do telekinesis, believe it or not. Um. That's like, he, he can What? He's, uh, I, I've hogwash. seen him open doors just by fucking looking at it, and I've seen him bend spoons with just his hand, and apparently there's a, there's some science and truth behind it, but, yeah. It, it's really hard to explain, it's really weird, and there are people who can do just the fucking craziest things in this world, and we showed you some of those things um in that one video but it's not like we're fucking saying they're going like oh we believe that you know like we should be putting government money into research you know i'm like what we believe isn't exact well tats believes i don't really give a shit either way um yeah, like i thought you guys were like members of scientology after you made that no video. dude did you see kenshin's fucking video kenshin my video ranting oh about i haven't watched this video I think he's a. We, we, ra- we did a thirty-minute rant about how Scientology is <laughs> full of shit. We originally the, the rant was initially about those Jesus Love Me page, you know those oh. like bait pages. But then we started talking about. I'm like, hey, do you know about Scientology? And uh, yeah, we, we were talking about that South Park thing, and yeah, we looked into it on the fucking thing, you know, and w- reading these victim stories and Scientology is full of shit. It's just a way of making money started by a fucking pedophile. Yeah. I, I once had a cousin who was going to join Scientology. Yeah, d- yeah. Tats is not a Scientologist. In fact, he doesn't subscribe to any current religion based on the fact that there's a lack of evidence to support any current religion. Yeah, uh, I wonder, uh, another person I want to discuss is uh, Amanda Bede. Uh, I don't know, is that her name? Amanda Bede? I don't know, like, uh, it's, a, uh, it's like, um, it, it, she was, like, one of the voice, like, the female voice in, uh, the top, uh, 20 abandoned places. Oh, yeah, Amelia. Amelia, oh. Oh, okay, Amelia B. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah I got in a debate uh, a number of times uh, with her, and uh, it was over feminism. And uh, um, I kind of didn't disagree with that. I kind of disagree with feminism. Uh, I kind of, like, subscribe feminism, to... Feminism, uh, the idea of feminism isn't bad. Yeah. The f- yeah. But the, the way that feminists present themselves as a yeah. group. It, it's because bad. of that I subscribe to uh, to a subreddit in Reddit called Our Men's Rights. Yeah, again, I think that we should move away from feminism and men and MRAs, you know, men's right activists. Hey. Hey, and I, I think we should move away from that I th- and just simply go for egalitarianism. E- Which I, is I the belief and promote that basically is the belief in promoting equality for both genders. I thought it was an idea invented by Scientology. No, egalitarianism is um, it, people like to either call themselves egalitarians, which has no definition until we until egalitarians made it up, or who uh, hu, um, humanitarians. But yeah, basically, those are the people who say, fuck feminism, fuck men's right activism, why don't we just focus on making it equal for everyone? Because there are things that females get away with that men don't, like, say the right to parenthood. Um, if, if a girl, at any point, like, wants to abort their child, wants to have nothing to do with their child, or, you know, wants to give it up for adoption, or whatever, they can do that. A man, if he accidentally impregnates a woman... He doesn't have the right to say, yeah, fuck this child. I didn't have nothing to do with it. He doesn't have the right to, yeah, walk away from the child. No matter what, he, the man in this situation will always have to pay child support, while females won't. Rather, they give it up for adoption, give it to the male partner, or fucking simply abort it. Men don't have the right to not have anything to do with the parent. And, you know, again, that could be taken badly, too, if abused, but... You gotta think about it like, just because a guy agrees to have sex, he doesn't agree to have a kid. And, you know, again, there's many ways of looking at this, but that is a right that a man does not have while a woman does. 
and there's lots of rights and lots of things that are fucked up in this world that you know women get over men and there are certainly fucking misogynistic men who okay. are fucking stupid to women but in america pretty much everything between men and women are essentially equal in most parts um, the place that places that do need feminism would be places like fucking Iraq, where a woman's suffrage might be okay, but currently the things that feminists bitch about are oh. things that are not like again statistically are never like consistent, and things that are just simply not in the right um, as of right now. And that, that's just the majority of feminists. A lot of feminists are complete, you know, different. But I think we can all agree on both sides that change should be an equal thing for both men and women, feminists or, you know, men's right activists. Yeah, uh, man, it's been a long time since I, I, like, made a video, so, like, uh, a lot of time I've been spending in this, uh, subreddit and Reddit called Our Great Apes, and they talk about, uh, blacks committing crimes, and, uh, I don't know, what? Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, all right, what was that noise? Oh, my brother just uh, came up from upstairs and is going to his room. I'm in the basement. So, yeah, uh, um, there's a subreddit called Our Great Apes, and uh, they just talk about uh, blacks and stuff like that. And they uh, make uh, slurs like pouch monkey and nigger. That's mm -hmm. probably where I got most of the words. But, yeah, again, just, just try to present yourself in a, a better light. You know, people will respect you a lot more if you, again flat out came out and say hey tats is censoring people and then i then you know i probably could have came in there and been like hey man here's what happened in this situation um got your facts wrong in that part and then you've been like oh okay okay well, i understand now you know no need to attack people again arissa she has nothing to do with the channel quite literally arissa yeah. um barely speaks english Hardly ever oh, talks to Tats. That's why I can't debate. Yeah, she she. It, have you seen her type? She she barely speaks English. She lives in Japan. What? Yeah, you know, she lives in Japan. I thought she lived in UK. No, she moved out of UK a long ass time ago. She's been living in Japan for like the last like five years, um, which is why she does that. She's a professional cosplayer, not a hooker. She dresses oh. up like video game characters. Oh uh, no. I hate she posts her photos, and she gets paid to dress up like video Ew. game characters and help promote games. Oh, I hate cosplayers. They're faggots. Anyway, yeah, that's what she does. Um, but yeah, she has nothing to do with the channel or our videos. Well, why not go to Rosetta Stone or, like, I don't know, some website where you can learn English or something? Um, she knows English, but... Um, For her not to speak it? She, 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 again, uh, her English is very accented. You know, I'm like, um... English. Very, she, she hasn't spoken English in probably, like, five years, and you know, she, she, again, pro no, pro knows it. It's just that, like, it's... It would be very heavily accented. Um, and it would be very hard to understand, and she's not your biggest fan because she wouldn't want to talk to you because, again... You've done nothing but post videos saying that you're jacking off to her, and <laughs> oh, sorry, and sorry. when you're when you're when you troll people like that, you don't gain their respect and that sorry, type of thing. Yeah, usually sorry, they yeah. wouldn't. Usually they wouldn't. Um, um respect talk me because uh, uh, yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of might have gone too far when uh, with the uh, Aja Chan, Arissa Chan, what's her name again? Ar Arissa Chan. Yeah, yeah, I call her Assa Chan. Kind of like, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, Arissa uh, Chan. Uh, yeah, I think I might have went too far with the whole jacking off stuff. Yeah, again... Just, just leave her out of your videos, man. I'm like, she, she, she has nothing to do with the channel. She, she, uh, like, the best she knows is that you know, ta like, yeah, she's, you know, she's fucking in, she's fucking in Japan, you know, doing Japanese stuff, and 
Japanese people are weird. Yeah, they are weird. Just like those communists in China. Well, communism in China and Japan is weird. Japan Japanese people are very product-oriented fanboys, while China has a very strict government that is kind of full of shit. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's two different types of weird. Um, Japan, not hurting anyone. China is. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Um, also, uh, what about the debate with Tots? Uh, I wanted to s debate with that guy. Uh, Tats. Um, you're going to have to settle for me. Um, because we've been getting a lot of hack threats from Tats, and, uh, from having some, no, 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 uh, from, from people, you know, like you, <laughs> oh. and she, he thinks that you're this anti-brony guy, I think, um, oh. his name's anti-brony, <laughs> are you I, this, are, are you uh, anti-brony? Yeah, I kind of do hate bronies, uh, I do, uh, I, uh. I think I once told this one brony to that he needs another beating. So uh, yeah. Well, I, there's nothing wrong with bronies inherently. Okay. Yeah. There's there's a lot. Okay, there's a lot of things that you have to take into account. My Little Pony, like it or not, has gotten rather popular and rather big. Yeah. So the, 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 if the you thing. think about it, the th the fact that you see it all over the place is kind of like shut the fuck up, deal with it. It's the same thing like seeing Doctor Who, Breaking Bad, or all these other shows that people shove in your face. I you pretend know. they don't exist. Just just pretend that bronies don't fucking exist and they're not going to fucking bother you. And for the people that do, they're a vocal minority. And they're probably trolls, again, like you, who just want to fuck with people. Most I bronies are, again, people like myself who do nothing but casually enjoy the show. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the thing about, uh, the Brony Phantom that I don't get is, why is it so popular? Like, why is it popular? The show, the show, if you can get past the, uh, well, the show is, and it, well, was created by Lauren Faust. Lauren Faust created just about every nostalgic show from the early 2000s on. Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls, all that shit. All those shows oh, had like a those. math. Yeah, all those shows had a massive following in their heyday. So she took on the My Little Pony brand, and instead of making it, Hey, let's have a fucking tea party! Hell yeah, biatch! You know, they, they, she gave them character development, continuity, and, you know, making them a little bit less one-dimensional while having a glossy coat of, you know, little girl stuff. Um, but if you can get past the little girl stuff, you know, like the fucking theme song, I, I cringe every time I hear that, but, um, and you know, all that type of stuff, you get a cute, fun show with some great animation, some great story, and a continuity. Like, there's one episode where a character says, I want to do this, and then fucking three seasons later, I did this, and I'm moving on, and people actually change, you know, and show, and... It's it, for a kid show. It's probably one of the best current kid shows that there is, you know, because it doesn't treat it doesn't talk down to you, it doesn't treat you like fucking Dora the Explorer. The old My Little Pony, it did that, and I would agree with you a hundred percent. Why do people like this show if we were talking about the older versions? But the new version, it's pretty good, oh. you know. Uh, yeah. It doesn't talk down to you like the um, old ones did. And yeah. people like that. Oh, that was a, a better answer from this uh, another guy named Jason. Um, he I'm was like go. a fucking... Uh, damn it. Go, Why Mario. <sighs> Fuck off, dude. Yeah, my brother came in. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Alright, hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, uh, Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Mom came in the room. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, back to on topic. Uh, yeah, so I was, like, wondering, like, oh, why do people like this show? And I guess it was a much better answer from you than from this uh, this guy. I think he's a Marxist, an internet Marxist. He's a, he's a controversial figure on YouTube in the communist community of, of YouTube. 
Uh, his name, his uh, his uh, YouTube name is called uh, Jason on Ruth or something like that. But his former YouTube name used to be the Maoist Rebel. Uh, yeah, with communism, it's very hard. Uh, communism's never worked. It usually the issue with communism is that there's one person or a group of people who have to manage where all the money goes. And those people pay themselves a unholy amount of money nine times out of ten, while everyone else in the country gets paid very little. While the idea of equal pay for everyone, no matter occupation, is a good idea, you know? Like, it, some people like getting behind that. Like, I'm not, like, just because, you know, I'm working 40, like... My the hour, when I work forty hours, it's the same as Joe working forty hours. You know, I pick up trash. He he's a doctor. We both make the same amount of money for forty hours, and that's that's the idea of communism. However, it fails because someone has to manage that. Someone has to do that, and those people that do that can get corrupted very easily. Also, there's no idea. There's something called a free market, and usually in communist states. They don't allow free market, which means the government decides what you want. I.e., let's yeah. say there's like let's say there's like a shit ton of toilet paper, and okay. it costs like twenty dollars for each roll. All right. However, you know, no one fucking wants toilet paper. Everyone wants, um, you know, like everyone wants toilet paper. That's twenty dollars a roll. But you know, silverware costs like five bucks. So no one's like. Oh, you see, you see where the issue is. We have a shit ton of toilet paper that's, that people are being overcharged for because the government doesn't think you'd need it. While there's silverware all over the place that no one wants, which means, you know, essentially, it, it, instead of it being the people who dictates the market, you know, because people are the consumers who are buying shit, it's the government who does that, and the government clearly doesn't understand what the people want, which is bad. Hell, America doesn't even have a full free market, i.e. with their regulations. Yeah, I heard it has co corny capitalism. Yeah, we, we got um, a semi... We got a mostly free market, because again, we do regulate stuff so that corporations can't just be like, hey, we're gonna throw some acid in your food. You know? You, know. you, you, yeah. you want... You, you, that's well, good. I don't, I don't think it's good at all. Like, why would they kill their customers? Wouldn't no, that, no, like, no. It like let's like, say I want to put a chemical compound in this chicken. We can we, super breed more chickens. However, what happens is that anyone who eats a chicken is going to die by the time they're thirty. Do I give a shit if they die by the thirty? No, because I'm making a shit ton more money. Oh, you know, okay. So stuff like that, you know, like I can't, I cannot put pesticides in my corn that will kill people. Because they are cheaper, you know? People used to do that in the 80s, you know? Like, stuff in the 80s is actually considered, like, toxic now because we put regulations on it. You know, we can't irradiate our food to make, or, you know, irradiate, you know, stuff like that, you know? We have to regulate that, you know? Like, you know the Dust Bowl? You know why that happened? Yeah. Because, essentially, people were super breeding crops, but they weren't really properly rotating the crop so that the soil didn't go to shit. Soil went to shit and it started creating dust storms. Dust storms swept through America and people started dying. Government put regulations to make sure people rotated crops so that we didn't have a desert in the middle of the United States. And there you go, we got proper food back and we you know people stopped dying. Government regulation isn't bad. When it goes too far, it's bad. And Capitalism is the best working system we currently have. Um, personally, I'm a socialist. I believe that the government should spend money helping its people, not spend money on wars and fucking Socialism. shooting brown people in our country. Socialism is a – well, as I take it, socialism is, socialism is the belief that the government should spend money on itself and helping the people that are within its own borders – before. It's giving money. It's giving money to people who do nothing to deserve it. No, no. I heard from Fox News. Oh, Fox, oh, Fox News Fox is full of shit, man. Why do you watch Fox News? You're a bad influence. Well, like I think my two parents watch welfare. Fox News. Welfare. Welfare. Okay, that that's what they're talking about. Okay, think about it like this: you are a school janitor. 
you're in okay. Detroit, and there's no fucking jobs anywhere. The only job you can get is work as a school janitor. You work 70 hours a week being paid $2 an hour. Okay. That's $120 a week. Do you think this person who works his ass off gets paid, like, very little should just go fucking hungry because there's absolutely no jobs? No, they help supplement their paychecks with um, welfare, welfare so that they could afford a house and basic appliances. Yeah. Y- usually yeah. you cannot get welfare if you're straight up homeless. If you're straight yeah. up homeless, you go to a homeless shelter, you try to find a job. But yeah, welfare is meant to supplement money, not be your only source of income. Wait a minute. You also uh, get welfare if you have fucking nine kids because yeah. your kids well, uh, can't starve. All right, well... Yeah, I want to talk. I, I thought Obamacare uh, took ho- care of those stuff. Obamacare is rather bad. Um, okay, the origin of Obamacare. Ah, Alex Jones was right. Okay, the origin of Obamacare was actually a conservative health care bill. Believe it or not, it was originally written up by conservatives, and Obama put it into action, even though he's a Democrat. Conservatives flat out didn't like this idea because they're like, oh, Democrats, they're fucking bad. And yeah, if anyone should be angry at Obama, it's the um, Democrats, not the conservatives. Obamacare basically takes a conservative approach to health care. And again, you got to think about it like this. Um, Canada gets complete health care coverage. And they're actually satisfied with their health care coverage. We, we're basically barely, we're basically requiring people to have health care because think about it like this. The reason why it costs so much to go to a doctor is because 9 out of 10 people can't afford to spend $40,000 on some stupid ass surgery. So they get health insurance because, well, people who ha- run health insurance companies can do that. But the issue before then is that health insurance companies were essentially being like, hey, you want health insurance? Well, if you ever have any issue, we're going to make you wish you didn't have health insurance, which made it useless. So Obamacare was just like, okay, everyone needs health insurance. That way they can't jack up the prices on anything. However, health insurance companies are still jacking up the prices and essentially making everything – very hard to pay for, and uh, it's this big mess. Uh, another user, uh, I want to, uh, uh, can you talk to other users? I can like, talk to people who contact me. Um, I'm, I'm, I have 37,000 subscribers, and hell, it's still even hard to contact certain well, people on uh, YouTube. Maybe you can, uh, upload this, uh, this, uh, chat on YouTube. Well, I have it. I mean, like, I'm recording it now. I started recording it, like, halfway through our other chat. Okay, well, is this video chat that you're seeing me through, or...? or no, you're, you're not on video. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm recording just a voice. All right, well, that's good. Well, uh, another user I want to talk about is uh, RB506. Uh, yeah, I want to, like... Like, uh... I what, think what he's, he like, being... A, he's being a real cocksucker right now. Uh, what did he do? Is he still, like... I, I, I think, honestly, he just needs a little... One, leave you alone, and you leave him alone. I, I, I think he uh, started defending Tats Tops uh, when uh, Tats Bottom Tats? videos came around. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I do wonder, what did Tats Bottom video actually say? He like, kept on saying, he, he basically made an account and started saying all of his videos suck and started making videos saying that I should go jump off a cliff, a wrist needs a No, burn, actually, I and, said that first. What, you did that? Yeah, I kind of said that. Wow. Well, it's yeah, great to have a civilized like conversation. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know. He made a list so saying top ten reasons why Tats sucks. And it was like, my videos are better. You know, this person is stupid. He's a brony fag. And again, th- what you need to understand is that you need to differentiate the content creator from the content of his videos. Um, st- you know, 300? Movie 300? Yeah. That was made by a guy called, um, some, it's like, Mill or something. Um, and he is a 
misogynistic asshole who believes we should just flat out nuke all other countries who aren't America. 300, still a good film. That guy, a jackass. Oh. That's... We make we make very good we make very good videos. I would have to say so myself. We're entertaining and clearly we bring in the views. Um, do does the fact that Tats watches My Little Pony on occasion affect that? No. If it, whatever he does in his spare time is whatever he does in his spare time. That won't affect any of the content he creates. You know. And it's not like we're uploading nothing but pony videos or anything like that. In fact, you barely even see ponies in our videos. And the only time we put them in there is when they're relevant. Oh. Like, you know, like, again, with the cupcakes, uh, creepypasta, and the um, Ask Flourish I question, because of voice actors said they want to do that, and Tats wanted to show off some animation. So we're just like, fuck it, we'll show it. You know, and that, that you now again, if you don't like a video... Just just leave a dislike, and like again, if you present a valid opinion why you don't like the video, then that's fine. But if you sit there and be like, you all oh, bronies should just fucking burn because they're all jackasses who do. Not all bronies are the same. Like I know that not all Republicans are Christian. You know, not all this group of people is this. You know, you know, there's always there's a variety. Yeah. And Arby, yeah, I don't know what he said. I don't know what he did. Seems like a pretty cool guy. I talked to him. Um, he records uh, video. He records gameplay footage. He plays Halo Four. That's dumb. It, they ru- the Bungie or I think three four three Industries ruined Halo after uh, Halo Four. Halo Four is an all right game. I mean, like I wouldn't say it's bad. It's certainly better than a lot of shooters coming out as of late. But I would not say it's. You know, I mean, like, Halo's been on a decline since fucking Halo 3. All right, let's let's not kid ourselves here. Halo 3 was the last great Halo game. Halo Reach was all right, but they kind of fucked it up with the abilities. And Halo 4 is simply a direct upgrade from Halo Reach. Not quite Halo... It's better than Halo 1. Not as good as Halo 2, and definitely not as good as Halo 3. But it's not the worst, not the best, and it's, <laughs> it's certainly not what we thought it was going to be, which was an absolute wreck. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they, it could have been worse. Could have been worse, but, you know, it's a decent game, well worth its price tag, and nothing more. It doesn't really aspire to be anymore. Yeah, I, I think that uh, you also have an effect on your uh, fans. Like, there was, like, two hilarious uh, butthurt fanboys who made a video about me and Todd's videos. And they say, uh, hey, Todd's not gay. Respect him. He's cool. It was so hilarious. I'm, I'm, I'm never, never, I'm never gonna, gonna ask, ask you to. Um, I can hear myself by the way. I'm echoing. Um, I'm never gonna ask you to respect me. I'm never gonna say you have to love my opinions, and certainly you don't have to love Tats' opinions. But what we will say, if you're gonna disagree with us, just be respectful. State why, and we can certainly be the same. You know, we don't have to make this a very aggressive thing. We can definitely, you know, like, again, yeah, saying that Tats is gay, I'm like, okay. One, being homosexual, not a bad thing. Doesn't even really fucking matter if you think about it. Um, and the, the way that you use it is that you're saying Tats is stupid, not really homosexual. So, yeah, you're saying that Tats is stupid um, in that sense. Tats isn't really that... Also, also another thing I've been hearing a lot about is um, even people like... Uh, I've been saying that Tats is, like, arrogant or something like that. Um, we have rules to the channel, essentially. And the, the rule, we, the reason why I put those there is so that everyone could be generally entertained by our videos and help promote entertainment. You know, we don't, like, again, this is our channel. Um, we manage it, and we want it to be a fun, safe place for everyone to come to. We don't want it to be like, oh, you're fucking gay. You suck dick. Guess what number one is? You know, we don't want that. You know, and that's why we made the rules, you know, like posting spoilers of the game when people read the comments. They don't want to see that. Screamers. That's rude. Screamers. Yes, yeah, screamers. We used to get that a lot. Plus, we got that stupid uh, Bob thing, too, quite <laughs> frequently. All the big channels got that, though, to be oh, honest. Yeah. And also, uh, remember the the first thing? I think I did a first on one of your videos. I think it was really old. 
first yeah first is really annoying i get them i get first on my videos too my personal videos um i get those all the time and it's like it's like really do, we, do you need to post that no can you not thank you oh i think i like uh i expand your channel before i got banned no um, like, i banned you from my channel because i think you were doing something on it i don't know yeah, I was like, uh, like uh, repeating gay over and over on uh, every one of your videos. Yeah. Like, Again, I give people warnings, I'm, and basically the rule, the rules are just don't be a jackass. I'm never gonna censor your opinion. Just I'm only gonna censor it if you don't present it in a way that's, you know, in a non douche way. You know, like, um, you know, if you say, oh, you're gay because you're homosexual and you suck dick. You know, that, that's not an opinion, that's just you insulting me. If you were to say, oh, I didn't like the way you narrated this video, can you, like, try to change that next time? Uh, here's the exact part I was talking about. It's pronounced this way, not that way, you know, something like that, you know, or I didn't like that, you know, I'm, that's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, you can, I can certainly deal with that. But. Oh, know. yeah. Uh, another thing I want to ask is, what's, what's with the whole, uh, Three 3D cities uh, thing, like Dark Veil. Um. Tats is a 3D designer. Um, he cre he he um actually went to school for uh went to college for 3D game animation, as well as 3ds Max and uh, 3D rendering. Um, he had a few ideas for cities that could be like in games and backgrounds. That could be in games. And he created them. And he was simply showing off his uh, portfolio, which he was presenting to multiple game companies at the time. Um, and, yeah, that's what it was. It was just a rather interesting um, look. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I think there was, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh. Yeah, um, hold on, let me think. Hmm. Yeah, what happened to your, uh, I think what was, like, the top something weather patterns or phenomena or whatever it is? Weather phenomenons, um. Yeah, I saw it on a lot of channels other than your, uh. That was, people kept on taking our video and yeah, I, I uploading thought... Um, we had to remove it off of our own channel because, um, apparently we used some footage you know, showing off the weather phenomenon, even though it was fair use, but they're just like, we, we don't want you doing that. And uh, currently it's on private till we can um, edit some of this stuff so people I won't kinda, be I kind of liked that. it because uh, when I try to see uh, the top uh, weather phenomenon on your uh, channel, it keeps saying this thing is not playable on your device. Oh, so, um, uh, it means that's unflagged it and... Yeah, is it still on the channel? I don't think it is. I think Tats put a lot of videos on private in response to that uh, copyright strike. Yeah, and also uh, the top uh, 14 ways the world could end. That thing. Yeah, that we we apparently use uh, we use some music. Um, we edit we edit the music and all that shit, but you know Tats didn't want to deal with someone flat out just putting in our strike on the account. So we just we're redoing it, redoing all of our old lists. Um, and we're going to make them better HD and record all the footage ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I think, uh, let's see here. Hold on. Uh, what about NDL Mongoose? Uh, He's just a narrator. Oh. Hey, uh, I wonder, why haven't your uh, other narrators responded to my comments? NDL Mongoose has been gone for a while. They don't really look at the uh, stuff. And um, I'm mostly the uh, like PR management, and I do a lot of, you know, basically, basically I do every, and anything and everything that can be done for the channel. channel. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, let see, what was I going to say? You use a lot of GIFs on your channel. Yeah, like, uh, I, saw, I saw your uh, video of uh, rants with feeding music trolling. Uh, it was dumb. Um, trolling, 
over the years has kind of changed. Um, when trolling used to be around, it was it was supposed to be like a obvious joke. Um, you know, it was, it was an obvious joke that would be taken in a funny way. Now it's hard to differentiate trolling from not trolling and uh, from straight bullying because they kind of turn into one of the same trolling. Like trolling used to be, haha, video gay. This video is gay. Troll, and you throw troll on there, and then we're like, okay, whatever. You're just, you're just kidding, you know. But now it's like, well, you should burn and die because you're a homosexual, fucking gay ass fag nigger shit, and that's not funny. That's just, that's just you being a jackass, and it's hard to tell if you're just some really stupid asshole, or if you're just some dude who's looking for attention. Either way, the way that that trolls are basically seen now is one people looking for attention, or, or two uh, people, people who are just uh, fucking jackasses who don't have anything better to do with their time. Again, trolling. There's a way to troll where it's not really offensive and it, it could be funny for both parties, and then there's a way of taking it too far, and you kind of fall in the latter category. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I don't mind trolling. Trolling can be fun, but when it's trolling, when it's just, you're gay, fuck you, burn in hell, you know, that's not yeah. trolling, that's being a dick. Yeah, trolling I, is, yeah, you usually throw troll, JK, or something like that. Yeah, I think uh, I have a problem with um, Arissa, like, she called me a sad little boy. Bitch, I'm almost 16. I can drive a car in like two years. <laughs> um, again, when you when you troll like that, um, people that's how people look at you. Yeah. A sad little boy with nothing better to do with their time because a lot of people see trolls as like twelve year old idiots. Um, and that's how you and your profile picture did not help because you just had some really fat weird kid with a fedora on his head. <laughs> yeah. And people thought that was you. Oh, so, yeah. And, well, actually, it was me. Like, when I was eight years old, I actually did put a fedora on. No, no, not really. It's not really me. But, um, yeah, th that's why someone would say that, especially when you act like that, when you... Yeah, I, I can understand that. Yeah. I, I once had, uh, I was like, once, uh, it was like this one asshole kid. Like, he was like fucking, uh, five or six years old i was like walking down the sidewalk to like uh, go to the store and get some uh i don't know some uh soda and then this fucking asshole kid said hey uh what football team do you support and i said seahawks and he said fuck you seahawks sucks uh. yeah that's, that's just again this is, uh, another thing that i like to comp uh, compare to my little pony um sports people people like sports um Aren't they essentially the same? They wear fucking jerseys, walk around in, like, sports paraphernalia, like, you know, Detroit Lions. They all argue with each other and go at each other's throat over who, which sport team is better. They play games like fantasy football. It's essentially the same damn thing, except replace ponies with throwing a football across the field. Yeah. I, uh, and people also, uh, don't people don't complain about those guys because those guys, um, their vocal their vocal jackass majority is just that douchebag who doesn't well, know how to handle their time, usually well, muscle bound. While our vocal majority is autistic. Fans, your fans are the same. I feel like most of your fans are like the same. They are like just a bunch of kids who are like with all their uh, SpongeBob SquarePants posters and all that stuff. Well, I mean, like, my fans are Tatsis fans. Really? Which one? Because my fans are quite different than Tatsis fans. My demographic's a bit different. My demographic is between the ages of 12 and 28, while Tatsis um, varies. Uh, usually his fans are between the ages of 16 and uh, 12 and 16. Because those are the pe type of people who like gaming shit. Those are the type of people that like the list format. And those are the type of people that enjoy that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I got, um... 
Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I think one person I do not like is Hulam Revenge or something like that. He uh, Hulam? I think he made videos uh debunking he... your creepy pastas. Oh, Hulam Revenge. He made a creepy pasta list, and again, creepy pastas. You know, the fun thing is, is that not all. Again, of course, we know that they're not true. Okay, I never claim that creepy pastas are true, but what's fun is believing that. Maybe this could happen in some of the creepy pastas. Again, you've seen my shit. You may have seen my shit pasta video where it's just like there's no way that's fucking true. But that's kind of the fun part about creepy pastas, pretending that yes, this might have had happened, and that it kind of scares me a little bit. And that's the little. That's again the reason why creepy pastas are fun. The idea that it might be true, probably not. Probably is not true, but it might be. You know, and just that might scares and again, people like being scared. So, you know, people are like, this video is fake. Yes, of course it's fucking fake. Don't I ruin the fun for fake. everyone else. I, I, I love once left uh, faking gay comments on those. Yeah, again, it's just a story. It's literature. It's horror. You know, so, yeah, nothing uh, more, nothing <laughs> less. I think he's um uh, being a bit uh, a bit of a hypocrite. Um, how so? Well, uh, he said, uh, let's see. He said, um, I can't believe you're a prick. And he did the same thing by saying you're a piece of shit. So I think he's a hypocrite. Wait, what? Uh, like, uh, he's, I think he said, um, I don't know. Like, he said that you're being a little prick. And he, uh, did the same thing ten minutes later by calling me a piece of shit. And I was like... Bitch, fuck you. At least Wait, I, uh... He, you said I, that he was being a prick, and then... What? And then he called me a piece of shit. And I yeah, because, yeah, you call someone a, sh a piece of shit, they're gonna call you... Like, you I mean, they call someone a prick. They're probably gonna call you a piece of shit. You know? I mean, like, being a hypocrite is like Tat saying, I would never insult you in any situation, douchebag. That's being a hypocrite. Um, hypocritism is usually, like, again, like, double standards type things um but not really again you call someone you insult someone they're probably gonna insult you yeah robert williams oh yeah robert williams did die i remember yeah, that i know i found out like uh it, this just this morning i just found out you just died just just this mm -hmm. morning i made a yeah. video I, I made a video about it um just kind of yeah i don't, I don't really but. know much about robert williams i've only seen him in two movies rv and mrs doubtfire well let me tell you about robin williams robin williams is this um in his performances he had this uncanny ability to be happy um and spread smiles he he was he has the warmest most loving acting performances out there he's known yeah, for probably. good speed you know um, he, he suffered with alcoholism and he suffered from depression. And even though he was probably one of the happiest people you would meet, like on a film, he, he, he had some major struggles with uh, depression and that was his issues. He, he, he did a lot of promotion. He did, he was very respectful of the troops out in Iraq. He did a lot. He was a fantastic improv artist and some of the jokes he would make are funnier than jokes that people like in newsrooms would make. I mean, sorry, people who actually wrote jokes for a living, you know? Oh. And, yeah, I don't really know him too much. I only know him. And, in... yeah, people, he, he touched millions of people, including myself. And he had yeah. good messages, like, it doesn't matter if you're fucking weird. It matters if you did something, you know? And that's what he did. He, he showed, you know, he did all those lovely things, inspired people to do stuff, and he killed himself. And it's sad, but... Hey, you 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 say hey, I'm I respect that the guy lived, I you know, and leave it at that. Yeah, um, I think uh, I want to take on the the rational skeptic community, also well, um, about the rational atheist skeptic community. I think they're like, uh, ooh, let's just say that they're. Uh, don't say don't there. Say Avoid saying there, man. Um, by. S by grouping them all together, you it, you assume that every single one of them is a hive mind. Oh yeah, and they're they're not. 
people have different opinions and people differ. Like, you know, yeah. the amazing atheist may take on something differently than, say, oh, yeah. uh, stick, Mr. Repsion. The guy who sticked a banana up his ass. Yeah, and he completely owned it, too. It's just like, fuck it, I stuck a banana out my ass. You got a problem? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh... I've done that. Um, also, uh, I think there's, like, um... Wow, I, I, there's, like, uh... This guy named Zaxer, or... I don't know. He's, like, a weirdo. Like, uh... And then he... Th there's, like, this guy named Ajima Hood. He's, uh... He's got these, uh, Ryback fans. Who are, like, pro Ryback. And holy shit, they're like a bunch of wrestling fanboys. I don't really know much about wrestling. I don't know much about that. Um, fanboy, though. Um, quickly, let me give you a definition of a fanboy. Um, a fanboy is someone who essentially believes in or is very much um, a fan or very much a worshiper of a certain product, brand, item, person, etc. Essentially, they no matter what fault something may have, say, let's say a PewDiePie, PewDiePie, um, PewDiePie and I don't care Fans. how you fucking pronounce it, PewDiePie fanboy. Okay, this person will say, you know, someone will go on the internet and say, "Hey, PewDiePie made a joke about molesting kids that made me feel uncomfortable, and yeah, I don't like that." You know, then someone will go like, oh, you're jealous of him, and, you know, he never does wrong. <laughs> He's fucking Jesus Christ. You know, that, that's a fanboy. Someone who goes like, Microsoft is so amazing, you know, because they never do anything wrong, and, you know, the Xbox has, you know, these games on it, and I like it, and, oh my gosh, I can snap back things, or Sony 1080p, you know, fuck that. Okay, both consoles has their drawback. Say, Sony, you have shit customer service. You now make people pay for your service. Your console may be a bit more powerful, but it doesn't underestimate the fact that last time I called you for support, you threatened to shut down my account because someone hacked me, and you basically refused to refund the $100 they took out of my account under your watch. You know, that, that, that is shit customer service. Sony has bad security, you know, with them getting hacked by Anonymous and shut down for like a month. You know, oh, no. how, how, how am I supposed to support a company that can get hacked like that? You know, Microsoft, you're not any better, you know? You do all this stupid-ass <laughs> shit, and freaking looking at you, Nintendo, who doesn't even have proper online support. Each thing has their drawback. You know, PC costs a shit ton of money. Xbox, you, you did some stupid ass shit in the past, but you're kind of turning that around. Sony has shit customer service, and Nintendo doesn't give a shit about modern day online play. Oh, well, you know, there's uh, bad guy shit. Wants Fanboys will ignore all those and say that their thing is the best. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh hey, do you know a guy named Eve Animations? No. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I think I tried to contact him several times. Uh, he's a leader of a... I think he, he's a creator of a Minecraft uh, mod pack called Robot Arena or something like that. Robot Apocalypse. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was, like, saying, like, because I'm uh, trying to, like, uh, trying to find this guy on Snapchat so I can, like, uh, have a discussion with him, like, about some, uh, about the website he goes on. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Um, also, hey. um... I don't really, uh... What? Yeah, just don't hate on Taz Tops. He doesn't really do anything to you. Um, and he creates content... He, he may, again, watch My Little Pony or something stupid ass like that. Cool. I watch My Little Pony in my spare time. Um, again, I don't watch it religiously. I don't fucking fap to it. You know, we don't do that. You know, but we do it for, it's like, what the, f who the fuck matters if we spend 30 minutes of our day watching something you may not like? You know, and he, I, that's not why you disliked him, is because you thought he was censoring stuff. In reality, we were being censored by other people. So, there's no real reason for you to dislike him, man. All that shit. I'm like, you can still dislike him, you can still disagree with him, you can still say, I don't 
like Taz Tosh, but again, this hate that you've been generating is unwarranted. And yeah. it, it's better directed at someone else, like, say, Ray William Johnson or something stupid like that. Again, yeah. I wouldn't recommend you doing it in the way that you're doing. Again, presenting logical argument will always earn you a lot more respect than, um, yeah, I want to fuck your sister uh, <laughs> any day. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can edit this into a video, um, and we'll get it up, and hopefully this will clear oh, things yeah. up between my fans and... I, I, do you have fans, or is it just all people who dislike you? I don't know. It's a lot of fans. Like, there's this fan called Ash or something like that. He has, like, a picture of a snow wolf. And then there's, like, this uh, other fan... Um, I don't know, but it's called Lars uh, 97 or something like that. And uh, let's see here. Uh, so a whole bunch of people. Uh, the, then there's uh, pretty much Arby. Um, yeah, I don't really know. They have wacky-ass uh, usernames, so I can't really pronounce all their usernames. Yeah, there's, like, I think the, the anti-brony guy who was... The one was the only one who actually liked um liked the video, but yeah, again, presenting logical argument, uh, like presenting your points, you know, doing doing it in a respectful manner will earn you a lot more respect and will get people to believe in your cause a lot more than just saying stuff like you are now. now there, there's a, a level of charisma you have to go with about this. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough. Um, I'll talk to you later, man. All right. Have yeah, fun. okay. I'm going to talk to Tots, and I'm going to smoke some weed. Bye. All right. Oh, shit. That was a long-ass fucking... Hello. Sorry. Who are you talking to? Joseph Luke.